everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am very excited to be unboxing another Funko Soda six pack cooler. This time it features the X-Men from 1997 and this six pack is limited to 12,000 pieces. There are so many good ones and very nostalgic. I remember watching that cartoon and even though I don't remember like any episode, I remember the theme song and it's awesome. All the Funko coolers are made by Loungefly, and it has this really cool X-Men emblem. I realize now it does say Marvel Studios with like that Disney Marvel Studios stamp. It's a little bit dark artwork, but you can see some of the characters. We have Jean Grey. Oh, there's Wolverine. He's cut off a little bit, but still cool. Magneto, Gambit. Oh, this is, a, this is a good time. I'll have to link their opening intro song in the description box below because everyone needs to, needs to watch that at least once. <laughs> and inside we have our six sodas. Oh yes, love the can art. Oh my goodness, there's Wolverine. How cool is that? Let's get these out. Here's the six pack all laid out, looking so iconic. These are totally the X-Men I grew up with and knew and loved with their designs. I remember I had a couple action figures, especially Wolverine in that yellow outfit, which is so cool. So bringing these back is so nostalgic. First up, oh, this is a hard choice. Let's start with Jean Grey, just because they also made a Phoenix figure and I was super lucky to find the dark Phoenix. So we gotta start with Jean Grey. And that's her common form. And then again, I believe her chase is like her ponytail version <laughs> and she might glow. So they have the Funko exclusive sticker. looks like the stickers on the can, which is good. Yeah. So inside we have our Pog, the smaller figure, and oh my goodness, okay, so Jean Grey really loves us because we found the one with the different hairstyle, which I believe, oh, she has a little plasm thing too, oh, how funny, so here we go, we found the chase, <laughs> right off the bat, Jean Grey with powers. Okay, that's pretty cool. I wonder if this piece glows in the dark. Oh, and she has her hair up there. How funny. Okay, she's really cool. And I don't know about you, but one of my first ships was her with Wolverine versus Cyclops. Let me know. <laughs> Wolverine or Cyclops. That is hilarious. Okay, I, I like I like the pose. And Jean Grey's Power Burst does glow in the dark. I'm using black light just because it's so hard to pick up on my camera because it's the blue glow. But I think that's a cool little effect for your chase. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's go with Wolverine in the classic yellow outfit. His chase is like the Logan in the jacket, <laughs> which is cool too, but to be honest, I'm kind of glad to just have the, the classic Wolverine. He was one of my favorite X-Men characters and still is. I think the movie versions are so, so different, but it'll be interesting to see with Marvel Studios now what happens with the X-Men. I'm, I'm excited for that. And yes, oh, he has his claws up. That is so cool. Oh wow, they did a good job with this soda. Okay, because he's kind of hairy, there we go, and scruffy. <laughs> and the classic Wolverine pose, yes. Good, I'm glad it's not a, a static pose. What a great job. That is awesome, and then here's the cool art, and then he's, the commons are 10,000, so one out of 10,000 pieces. I like the little girl face too. <laughs> Classic Wolverine. Next, let's grab the only quote-unquote villain of the piece, which is Magneto. He's always been such a great character. In the comic version, he was the, the father of Wanda and Pietro Maximoff, right? 
So there's an interesting lore there. He's a big figure. So his common is with the helmet on. The chase is with it off. And, oh, just so cool. <laughs> He's waving high. And he has a cool cape. I'm surprised they fit that in there. It has some motion to it. And then, of course, the classic helmet. And, oh, he looks, he looks angry there. And there's his pog. Next up, let's take a look at Cyclops. He's still a cool character. I actually liked his brother, Havoc. Oh, look at him. He's doing his little, little thing. I think his chase was a glow-in-the-dark, like, power burst one as well. With his visor. a big figure too so there he is they did a good job on like the hair sculpt he's doing the visor thing and the little frowny face <laughs> cool and the pog then we have storm who is also such a cool character i like the purple can it's sort of like a, a light purple and I believe she was just a glow-in-the-dark chase, too. Probably with a lightning bolt <laughs> or something. Oh, her can's a little tight on there. Curious to see how they did her cape. She feels kind of light. Oh, that's pretty cool. They even have her lightning bolt earrings. This is like the Mohawk version of, of Storm. Who I remember that from like the comics as well. But nicely done. I like the little X's there. I guess they all have the X icon both on their belts. And then of course the, the eyes. I wonder, they don't, I don't think the standard version glows. No, they don't, but still cool. And then her pog. Oh, she looks so cool there. And then to complete our set, we have Gambit, who is also another really cool character that has grown on me over the years. So he does have his, his staff or a bow, which is awesome. Not the cards, though. I wonder if the chase has the cards. That That's cool, too. I just thought his powers were, were very unique. like the red eyes okay so it's a little bit but we can bend that out a little bit it's <laughs> pressed in the can he has his big like trench coat here's a little smirk oh I like I like the sculpting they're so limited in space but I think they did a really good job with the different poses and trying to remain as true to form to these awesome characters as possible oh yeah he looks really cool that's awesome. And then here's his cool pog. So out of these six Funko sodas, which one was your favorite or which X-Men is your favorite character from these six? Feel free to leave me a comment down below. As for me, this is such a great set. They did a good job with the sculpts on all these. Although I don't like Cyclops that much. His head's too big. That's just me, though. And I think my two favorites are Wolverine and Gambit. It, it really captures the essence of those characters. They're super cool. And, of course, Eugene Gray comes through again with the chase. <laughs> And that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.